how is it that you can go about saying, I want to give one lucky winner of anyone that switches over a helicopter ride, an exotic car rental for a couple days and $5,000 cash. I think if you're a business owner right now, you have more to give than you think and it won't cost you as much as you think. Like a lot of people are probably looking at the exotic car and the helicopter and yeah, the five grand and the hunter, like it's a lot of money, but like for me and what I had, it, it didn't cost me much. And I think there's something out there for, for any business owner as well. Welcome to the Premium Mindset, the weekly podcast where homegrown entrepreneurs and business owners, Evan Ritchie and Cameron Bodden, share the good, the bad, and the ugly of modern entrepreneurship and reveal what really happens behind the scenes of their personal and professional lives. As owners of two of America's fastest growing and most disruptive companies, Coconut Cleaning and Green Mango Pest Control. Stay tuned for real stories, struggles, insight, and advice from real entrepreneurs in real time. What's going on? I am back with my friend and co-host and business partner, Cameron Bottom. So happy to have you back. Today's episode, I'm really excited for. And uh, in terms of growing a business or small business, it's so important to gain market share. And sometimes as small business owners, you settle and say that, well, there's this amount of customers that exist or this amount of companies that exist in the market and we're going to go after our portion. However, recently Cameron just started a bold campaign and we've titled it our switchover campaign, meaning rather than go after the demographic of people who don't have pest control or the people who choose on their own doing to leave a former pest control company or, you know, they're a DIY kind of guy. Cameron has said, I want to go after the companies that exist in this area with us and I want their customers to come over here and we're going to do something bold and big. And we have pulled it off. <laughs> bold and big. Bold That's and big. what we do. Bold and big. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay. And the the content as far as what we're actually giving people to switch over is insane. And so I wanted to tee Cameron off for this because again, small business, right? You want to, you know, I think we live in an era where a lot of people are just trying to be friends with everyone. Um, and that's fine. But we have made a decision to say, look, this is who we are. We think we're the best and we want to show you. And here's what we're willing to give you just to come over and try it out. So what was the inspiration behind I want to do a summer switchover campaign? Well, in business, you should always try and put yourself in the customer's shoes, yeah. right? So with sales, and this is where I, when I talk to this, the sales team is that, guys, you need to go after every single lead because you don't know how much time and effort it went to put into like that customer requesting their information. Like if you think about it, like if someone heard about us on the radio, they probably heard us three or four times. And then on that fourth or fifth time, they actually like wrote down the number or wrote down the name of the company or the website or whatever it might have been, put their life at risk if they're in the, you know, on the highway driving or pulled over or waited till they got home. And then to fill out the request a quote, right? Like you got to put your name in there. You got to put your email. You got to put your phone number. Like it's a pain in the butt. It really is. And then they're waiting for you to call them. Like they put effort into it. And that's the same thing in Arizona. And this is why I love pest control in Arizona. Cause it's not like, if you have pest control, you like, everyone has it. Like, it's not like everyone that has, that's making over 50 grand a year, like they're going to have pest control. And so I was thinking like, okay, everyone wants the best of the best. Right. But sometimes they don't have the money to buy the best of the best, or it's just an inconvenience. So when I thought of the switchover campaign, I tried to put myself in the customer's shoes of like, what are all the reasons why someone wouldn't switch over? The number one thing being probably money, right? The second thing is just, it's, it's just inconvenient. Like who wants to call their pest control company and switch? Like, it's just a pain in the butt. Call three or four companies and see where everyone's at. And you're going to, with pest control, we're talking about the difference of five to 10 bucks a month, like between the best and the worst, right? So when I thought of it, I was like, hey, what I want to do is match rates, which has never been done before for us. And that's a huge claim because there are a lot of companies that are, that are, you know, 
just there for five minutes. We spend 20 plus minutes at the home, tons of product at the house, but I wanted to make it to where like the price was no longer an objection. Second, I wanted it to be to where like, hey, why do I want to do this? So then we gave an incentive to where they get a Lululemon gift card for calling in. Cause I feel like our target demographic is that, that mom that's between 30 and 40 years old. And I don't know of a mom that doesn't love Lululemon or athletic wear in some shape or form, right? And then for the giveaway, I wish we could do this for every single customer, but I was like, what's something that like the husband would get excited about, right? For switching over. Well, uh, you know, I don't, I've never met a guy that doesn't love a fast car. So we're like, okay, hey, let's do an exotic car. I, you know, everyone's always, couples are always looking for a fun date night. And so I thought, okay, what would be more cool than a helicopter ride around the valley? And then to get the wife excited again, cause she's going to be the one ultimately doing the work, a chance to win $5,000. And then what everyone gets, okay, I'm kind of jumping back and forth here, but like, that's the giveaway. So everyone, like I tried to touch between the husband, the wife. So the husband gets excited about the car. He should get excited about the helicopter. The wife gets excited about the five grand and the helicopter. And then is excited about the car because the husband's excited about the car. And then you're, we're matching rates for everybody. $100 Lululemon gift card and then $2,000 in, in bonus gifts that we've gone and negotiated with partners, right? That if we, I, we, you and I have both reached out to people that we know and some people that we don't know that are just been great collaborators that were saying, hey, give us a $250 value in your service, no strings attached. And these aren't like gimmicks, like we're talking like oil changes. Everyone's gonna get an oil change. Everyone's gonna spend $100 to $250 on a synthetic oil change this year. Like you have to, unless you drive a Tesla. So they're gonna, they're gonna go out and they're gonna get an oil change, right? There's just, there's nine different companies on there. Like you're gonna need a plumber, you're gonna need an HVAC, like all the things that you will spend money on, we're giving it to you for free. So when customers call in and they're like, hey, it's too expensive, we're saying, we're giving you, we're paying for your pest control for two years. And by the way, the difference between what you're paying with your company right now to have us, it might be only five to 10 bucks a month, but we're going to match it anyway. So like literally took away every single quiver arrow that they had that would make it towards like, it's literally a no brainer for signing up. I love that. Let's, let's break that down. Cause when I think of our, you know, audience here, it's generally the small business owner and you kind of. I feel like it was a single text message you sent to a few people. You're like, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. So it was like a, one single morning. I just get this paragraph long text message. This is what I want to do. This is the criteria. So the to the small business owners out there, they say, OK, Cam, you've invested in the latest and greatest technology. You put a lot of money into your brand. So your prices are pretty congruent to um, what you provide. Right. Mm -hmm. So how are you able to look at a program like this, a summer switchover campaign and justify the cost? And how could they start looking into for it like themselves? matching the rates or like, yeah. The cost? So like if like, let's say that like, let's keep it simple for simple numbers. If everything we've invested into in all of our labor and everything that we do to be the premium company we are, we said to even break even, we have to have 85, 90 bucks mm -hmm. as a reoccurring service amount. So we've, we've chosen obviously a higher amount to have, you know, we're not a charity, so there needs to be some portion of profit, but how is it that you can go about saying, I want to give one lucky winner of anyone that switches over a helicopter ride, an exotic car rental for a couple of days and $5,000 cash plus a $100 Lululemon gift card that everyone gets. And if someone calls in and says, Hey, you know, my guy is $85 every two months and that's, you know, $30, $40 less than what we built into our model for making money. Mm -hmm. um, what are some things that you are banking on that we do as a company to make sure that this all Yeah, that's works? a great question. The one, the thing that hurts the most, believe it or not, is the $100 Lululemon gift card. Yeah. Cause like it is a truly a hundred, I don't have a collaboration with Lululemon. So like that one's gonna hurt the most. I already own the exotic car, the helicopter. So like, that'll be fuel. It might be, you know, so it's not going to be that like much. The and then you, and then you got the okay. five grand, but you're going to make that up in all the accounts that come on. What I'm hoping, right. And this is where we're banking on. If it's that lower 85 tier, 75 tier, 
like I'm hoping that our technicians can upsell that customer. Like, hey, okay, we'll, we'll match your rate for GPC, but you also have termites, you also have rodents, you have, you know, you need mosquitoes and weeds and all that stuff. Right. And we can get that ticket and make back up for that, you know, that that difference. But um, once they see and you know, and then it's like an acquisition cost for a coconut too. Like, so I've I've looked at it as a win to where even if we don't upsell in two years from now we could increase their prices to that 10 bucks. So that's what's cool. When we're talking about like bottom tier pest control, we're talking like 75 to 80 bucks a month and then we're at 99. And most people are between like 90 and 99 where we're at. So I might have to like lose 10 bucks an account per service. So we're not talking about that much, but I could increase their prices in two years from now. I could upsell them or chances are because of our referral program that it's so strong like and i can't bank on this but these are all the things i just feel like i'm gonna win by doing is that they're gonna refer you know a customer to us and then we got that person for free here's what i'd say to supplement that too because uh you you were away when you sent the text and you said this is what i want done you probably had a couple hundred thousand dollars in labor in terms of like the attention and focus go to this campaign a lot of people that were focusing on like you know, steady campaigns, you know, the, especially the marketing team, but also the service team to get behind it and make sure that, you know, they knew that these customers that we were going to go to were people that one, they're getting the Lululemon gift card, but there's all the little logistics that we've had to consider, which is how are people going to get the Lululemon gift card? Is it at the initial service? So do we have technicians carry a bunch of Lululemon gift cards? You know, there's all these little things that you're taking that risk to make sure that we follow through um, and get these people switched over to experience the green mango difference. Um, what are some things that you want to continue, continually evaluate with the new customers that come through the door as far as like the company goes? Well, the number one thing that I'll be measuring is like upsells and then customer referrals. And that's where like our, I'm trusting in our people that they know like, hey, this is important. Like this customer is 10 to $15 less than what we usually charge. Like we got to provide an amazing service like we would with everyone, but like we want to get a referral out of this person and we need to upsell them on something else to get this price point higher. What's that. funny is when we were filming the content, it was almost, we're giving away almost too much to where it sounded too good to be true. Yes. And like, it was just, cause you try and do like 10 to 15 second bits, 30 seconds at, la at most. And like, I literally didn't have enough time to name everything that we're doing, but I literally wanted to take every excuse away from a customer that like why they wouldn't sign up. And that's why, like I say a no brainer a lot, like this one truly right. is like a no brainer. Like, I don't right. know why you wouldn't sign up for this. Right. I think what I love most about the campaign. So we had, uh, once Cameron sent everything over, there was really two different areas that we were looking in what it would take for a consumer to see the campaign and switch. But also I love that you created, uh, I, I don't know how far you went in depth on how you wanted the employees to be involved. But I, what I think is so cool is that we had a kickoff monthly meeting, hundred people in the room, um, all 150, 160 people present on a, you know, a, a live call. And we made the other side of this campaign about, the employees here at Green Mango benefiting from the program as well. Mm -hmm. And it was super cool to see how excited people were on, uh, hey, this is something that the company wins and I get the opportunity to win. So could you speak a little bit to like the details where you didn't just want customers to win, but you also wanted the people here participating and following through with the service. To I mean, that well. kind of goes back to like incentive pay rather than just an hourly pay. Like the more you can incentivize your people to push and get five star reviews and, you know, upsell, like you're just going to be a better company. And so because this relies so much on everyone doing their job, like think if I promised you a hundred dollar Lululemon gift card or that $2,000 in savings and that never showed up to your front door, right. like it's just, it, you just did more harm than good with that customer. It's right. so like, I'm counting on our marketing team to deliver those, those, you know, tools to that, to that customer. Same thing with the technician in the office. Like when someone calls in or a technician goes out there, like I want them to give that amazing experience because I'm banking on a lot of referrals coming from that person that we're at 75 to 80 bucks. So you need to carve out some money for them 
which we have. And I, I just want everyone to be behind it too. Like I want everyone talking about it with their friends and family and all those different things. Like I, the ideal version would be an employees at home having dinner or maybe at a family gathering and they're talking about the helicopter ride, the exotic car and the $5,000 plus matching your rates. Cause like I said, it, it's not like you're at a family gathering and you're saying, Hey, uncle Tom, like, do you have pest control? It's, it's who are you using? Right. Why wouldn't you switch over? Here's what you can get right now. Like right. that's the hype we're trying to, to build around it. Right. The, uh, just so everyone out there who is listening, you know, can have an idea of what we're doing for the people internally is I think shout out to the marketing team for this. I think they came up with the idea for how to, um, you know, get people involved, but we have 10, $20,000 or 10 to 20,000 flyers coming that the employees got to sign up. Their name is going to go on these little door hangers and they're going to go pepper the areas for the next couple months. And if anybody calls in and switches over, they get entered into a monthly drawing where they can win $2,000 and I'm spacing on it. Um, let's just talk about the $2,000. What's, what's the thousand? I saw a poster up a thousand bucks. Like who's going to get the thousand? Oh, sorry. It's a, it's a thousand. Yeah. It's, it's $1,000 for the next four months. That's right. Okay. He's like, I got to talk to someone about that. But so they get to go around. They don't have to talk and socialize with people. They can literally just go out with a friend, take their kids around and just go door hanger around and make sure that people are seeing, hey, we're doing the switchover campaign every month. They get entered into a drawing to get a thousand dollars cash, which is crazy because when you really think about it, it generally takes, you know, I'd say 500 to 700 flyers to get. That's interesting. I thought they were door hangers for like when they're out on a route to put on the doors it is. That right next door. Like so it is, it is that, but also, but you're also like CSRs just go like do their Yeah. I think, I think Lexi was like, I want 500. Wow. So she's yeah, going to get on a little cool. segue and, and go out. But <laughs> I think it's so cool because people, um, we've done, we've done these things. Uh, and I don't want to mention the C word, but we've offered really cool incentives for What's cruise. I totally realized that oh. that's not cruise. Um, <laughs> Goodness gracious. Um, but we've done other. I don't know what sorry the about that. Is. <laughs> um, yeah, we've done other incentives, but uh, I'd say 80% of the people don't participate because, yeah, I get it. Green Mango gets a referral, but like, I don't want to talk to, I don't want to go sell people. I don't want to go door knock. And so this flyer program is for the technicians to go out flyer, but also the CSRs are like planning like Saturdays to go out and like just pepper the neighborhoods because they want people to call in and switch over and then get entered in for that thousand uh, dollars cash as well, which is just, it's super fun. And when you, when you own a company, sometimes most always when you do these campaigns, it often favors the people like salespeople. Yeah. Um, but what I think is really cool and what I'm excited to see is once these flyers get in, I believe Friday, I'm excited to see what comes from it as far as like just people out there wearing the green mango shirts, uh, flyering the neighborhoods and to see the, the trickle effect of, you know, these, these people here all being involved regardless of their sales background or not. So I think that's going to be super fun. Yeah. What else? Should we How can, okay, that? real quick. So Cam, when it comes to like, you know, what you've done in the last six months, at least, you know, outside looking in, I feel like you've helped a lot of small business owners come in for an hour, 30 minutes, maybe they take you to lunch and you're coaching and advising them on what they can do. If there are some business owners out there who are a little bit more established and are ready for a campaign like this, what are some things that you would say, Hey, you need to know this, this, and this before you do it. And how can they approach going after a portion of the market that other people use a, a competitor? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of things, but I think what I would encourage people as a, the reason why I did like the exotic car and the helicopter ride is because like it was, they're almost free to me. And so I think a lot of business owners. Why is that? <laughs> huh? Why is that? Because I have them. Okay. <laughs> so if you have so a helicopter like, and an but exotic like, what car. What I'm saying is like, I think a lot of business owners have opportunities that they can give back to their customers that they're just not, they haven't thought of in a way. And I don't know what that is for whoever's listening to this, but I, like, that's how I got creative because 
you know, no matter how big you are, like you're still cost sensitive on your acquisition costs and what the, you know, what it is and giveaways and all that stuff. But it was like, okay, like these things are free to me. How can I do this? We, because we are who we are, like it took a, like I've been working on that $2,000 like campaign for a long time, those service companies, but I've never put them together. So I've had fillers out there, but it took like a month to really like call people, get them in, share the vision with them. And that, like that just was my time, but now it's free and it's benefiting those other companies too. So like, it's a win for everyone. So that's my point is that like, I think if you're a business owner right now, you have more to give than you think, and it won't cost you as much as you think. Like a lot of people are probably looking at the exotic car and the helicopter and yeah, the five grand and the hunter, like it's a lot of money, but like for me and what I had, it, it didn't cost me much. And I think there's something out there for, for any business owner as well. But what I would say is like, you have to know your numbers though, too. Like we did put a price point in there to where we won't go below a certain threshold. And I hope that we never lose a customer. So if someone calls in, they're like, Hey, I'm paying 62 bucks every two months. We're not going to take that. But what I, you know, the ammo that I, and I need to meet with them too again, but with the sales team is like, Hey, this is where you go to them and say, you have 2000, like we're paying for your pest control for free for the next two years. So if anything, just sign up for the next two years and then cancel, but you're getting the better service. And uh, I don't know. So you gotta know your numbers. You gotta know your upsells. You gotta, like you said, there's a lot of trust in the team that they're going to execute. But um, I don't know that like everyone always asks about referral programs when I meet with them. And like, this is our way, like this isn't a referral program, but like, this is our way to give back until it hurts. And that's what I encourage people with referrals. Like you want everyone to be involved and you want to give something so good to that customer. Like you want them to talk about it. Like, what is that thing for your business? Yeah. And it's got to hurt you as the business owner a little bit. Yeah. I think uh, if I could add one little tidbit that could help get people going in the right direction is very simply look at the cost it takes for you to acquire a customer. So look at your customer acquisition cost. If you have a $50 customer acquisition cost, 200, whatever it is, then start asking yourself, how can I get creative and get people's attention to where if I offer, hey, I'm offering four customers a staycation at the Great Wolf Lodge for a weekend. All you have to do is refer to customers, whatever it might be, and then if you can maybe make a gamble and you say, okay, I think I could probably get a hundred to 150 customers for this at the price of, you know, a $1,200 weekend times four. So 4,800 bucks. I think I can get a hundred customers. If I only get 40, I'm at break even. So those are the little KPIs that you can look but that's at. That's what I'd say too, like a referral customer is better than a Google customer yep. or anything else. So if your acquisition cost is 250, like budget in 350 or what's that, yep. what's that best customer worth to you? Yep. So again, very simply when, when he says know your numbers, just take a look at what the regular cost is for you to acquire a customer and then free up a little marketing dollars Try something out for a month. It doesn't, if you don't own a helicopter, which I'm, I'd be surprised if you don't, but, but, here's, if you, but here's the thing though, like you can rent out a helicopter for a thousand bucks. That's and, nothing. But I don't know if you're being funny right now, but the, like, that's what I'm saying. Like you have more like in a, an exotic car Who's, rental is, you know, I don't know, five to a thousand bucks for a day. Like, it's just like, but it looks a lot bigger. So you can do that and you can justify it, especially on a giveaway. Can you imagine renting a helicopter and they just roll it out and they're like, all right, here are the keys. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that, but yeah, exactly. And, and just, you don't have to do that something. That comes with a pilot, you idiot. <laughs> you know, I see a lot of giveaways on social media where it says, hey, post this to your story, tag 10 people, and we're giving away, you know, a hat. <laughs> And you know, I'm like, dude, they just don't get it, man. That's just not enough for the required ask. And for this program, I think you've gone above and beyond to just make, you know, the idea of sharing pest control and switching to over to a new pest control, like you've made it like more attractive and more sexy. Well, you're saying, I know it's just bugs, but we do a better job at taking care of those bugs for your home. And here's what I want to do to show you. It's not just like, I wanna, I wanna show you good value. You're like, I wanna get you up in a helicopter. I want you to win $5,000 cash. I want you to have a trusted 
card with $2,000 in savings to a bunch of different small business owners that we trust. And I want you to have a Lululemon gift card. Like that is something where when people see it and I finally see something good enough to share, like that is shareable. And I don't know of a single person who is above this giveaway that wouldn't benefit in some way from any portion of what but they But it received. was all tailored to our avatar of customer. And, and that's the other thing you need to know too. Like if I'm offering, you know, all these things to, you know, I don't know if our target demographic yeah, if you're 60 selling year olds plus, like they, they don't care about that. But our yeah. demographic is like mid thirties and moms. Yeah. So that's why it was all around that. Love it.